Let's angle just a little bit more. By the way, I didn't need to use the press again. And I'm about to go test drive this. Hello and welcome to Chasing Ghosts. My name is Tara Smith. Um, this is my channel for basically my motorcycle content. And today I have a few things to show you that I'm going to be putting on my bike. And I'm probably gonna take some pictures as I'm going along just because I don't have a stand to put it on. But this right here, this is a highway peg. Hopefully that's coming through good on the camera. That is going on my bike. And of course I have two of them, a left and a right. And they're going to go on my 2022 Harley Davidson Fat Bob. I have mustache bars on it. That should go pretty good. They are Rivco. There's a box. And I went to a shop out off of 242. Their address is Conroe, but um, they're kind of between Conroe and the Woodlands, if you know where that is. Uh, J&B Cycle Works. Um, and they were kind enough to order this for me. We looked through the catalog. And I'm going to put them on my bike so that I have another foot position to put my bikes in. I have to put my legs in and I can get a little bit more comfortable on the motorcycle. So the other thing is um, there's some adjustment on here. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm just holding my phone at the second at this second and I wanted to show you a few things. Well, number one, obviously, this thing flips up and out of the way. So it'll go like that and it'll go back down. I want you to notice this little screw down here on the bottom. That is for adjustment up and down when you have the peg all the way out and your foot on it. If you want to adjust it up a little, you want to adjust it down where it sits there because your weight's going to be on it. It does have an adjustment for that. And of course, we have these little hex screws here that we're gonna have to take out. And we have this bolt right here that I'm gonna have to take off. And that is going to go around the bar on my motorcycle. And then my foot's gonna go on that. So let's see how this looks. I'm going to measure it out and put it on both sides and take a look at it. And there are some people especially old schoolers, what have you, like my uncle, he'll tell you to put a piece of inner tube in here to keep it from, you know, messing up the paint or anything like that. And that is a viable option if you want to do that. Uh, just a little bicycle inner tube, whatever, cut a piece out to fit and it'll go right in there and you'll be all set. Before I get started here, the tools I'm going to need are a crescent wrench, a 9 16th socket or wrench, a 5 32nd Allen over there, and you're going to need a rag or a cloth of some kind to go on that crescent wrench so that you can hold the peg in place and you can take that bolt out of the end of it without scratching it. Okay, there's one side on. and. They do send this little Allen, and that's for the little bolt in there, to adjust it. And I angle it a little bit back towards me for my foot. And it's doing exactly what I want it to do, which I'll show y'all in a little bit. Okay, excuse the dart, but I've been on dart roads. Both of them are on there. And see how it flips up like that? flips down and it's angled just a little bit forward not much and that's just for the ergonomics with my foot okay that's not bad that's about where I want it if I feel like it needs to come up just a little bit it has that bolt in there by the way I didn't need to use the crescent wrench the bolts were loose enough from the factory I could take them out without doing that 
anytime you can do that, that's awesome. But watch this. I also have this position right there so I can heel toe it on the kickstand. I can put my foot out there. I can put my foot up here. Go back to here. I can heel toe it, which is kind of comfortable. And I can put my foot on the floorboards right here. So I have all the different positions on my dirty bike here. And that's what I'm looking for. Just for comfort, for riding. And as you can tell, that is, I turn it forward just a little bit. But if you look at the position that my foot's in right there, that fits my, the rubber on there fits my foot perfectly. And I'm about to go test ride this. So I will catch y'all in a bit. Okay, now I'm out for a test ride. And we're going to try out some foot positions. This is my normal foot position. Hopefully this shows up on camera. What's really comfortable is just to like heel toe it like this right here. That is really comfortable. I might turn them in a little bit later. I don't know. I'll see how it works like it is right now. And if I feel like they need to be turned in a little more than they are because they're actually turned in just a little bit, I can turn them in later. But that is very comfortable. And hopefully you can see it because I have to keep looking up to where my feet are. Let me downshift. I'm actually not trying to go fast. Turn signals or lights of any kind would actually help on that trailer, dude. But anyway. Of course you can use common sense. He's slowing down, he's stopping, he's gonna do something. Light was red, like turned green, he didn't go, he turned. So, hey, common sense. But anyways, I've also got this position here. And that is comfortable. I still may turn it in a little, I don't know. I mean, it's one of them things where I could turn it in like a quarter inch or less an eighth of an inch maybe we'll find out and then I've got this position up here which I've always had and this just puts my knees up over the tank and I feel like a little kid ah. oh well anybody else ride on the tank when they were little With your dad or your uncles or somebody they put you on the front of like a dirt bike in my case it was a Mako and you're going through the woods and you come out and you just got like this mouthful of gnats and everything else all stuck in your teeth you're scared to death but you were having a blast that was just awesome that was a good time you know to feel that again would be amazing but anyways those are the pegs like I said I might turn them in just a little bit like maybe five degrees if that they've also got the adjustment to lift them up a little bit it's one of the things you kind of got to play with and but they're fine just like they are I just might tweak them a little little bit barely like I said this position right here if anything else, just, it may sound weird, but this position right here, with my heel on the floorboards and my toes out there on those pegs, look at that. That makes it worth anything, because that position is just so comfortable. It's awesome. I should have done that to this, I should have done this to this bike a couple of years ago. it works great so I now have highway pegs on my 2022 fat bob and hopefully y'all like the video there's not much else to it other than I might play with it just uh, I got it at the right height that I want it they flip up where I want them you know like ah, 
to go up right there. Or they'll go down. But you see that? Go up. And they go down. I don't know if you can see that or not because this car was merging in front of me. That's what happens with the test ride. And I am going to meet a very pretty girl at a restaurant. So I have a dinner date with a lovely lady. And, well, I'm very fortunate. <laughs> I can't complain. But I will catch y'all later. Hopefully you like the video. And I got more stuff coming out. I've got the hightail thing on my helmet right now. I don't have the net that actually holds the hair on there. Because it's supposed to cure for like 72 hours. I think it's 90% at 24. And it's fully at 72 so I figure it'll be good by the time I get back because I'm going to be working out of town all week until Friday. And depending on what the dentist does, depending on what the dentist says, it's going to depend on what I do for videos this weekend. I may just be playing guitar and howling the blues. Like literally howling. I may be like all messed up on painkillers and in pain. Who knows? Take care of your teeth, kids. <sighs> I'm ready for plastic ones. But anyways, I will catch y'all later. You're all awesome. Thank you for watching my video. Like, share, subscribe. Hell, if you didn't like it, hit a dislike button. I don't care. It does the same thing for the algorithm, whether you hit a like or a dislike. So hit either one you like share subscribe all that good stuff and i will be catching y'all later and like i said you're all awesome bye